On a cold January morning in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 19-year-old mother Alexis Avila was captured on CCTV cameras committing a horrific crime. In the grainy footage, she can be seen tossing what looks to be just some trash into a bin. It wouldn't be until hours later some dumpster divers would find the bag and what it contained in the nick of time. Alexis's newborn baby with the umbilical cord still attached. Thanks to the surveillance footage captured, police were able to identify the vehicle Alexis was driving, and in turn, bring her in for questioning to find out her motive for abandoning her child. The following footage is from her interrogation. As always, thanks for joining me this week. A like or subscribe goes a long way in keeping the channel alive. Now let's get into the interview. So before I do ask you any questions, okay, um, I do policy, per policy and procedure, I read everybody their rights. It doesn't mean anything other than me, me making you aware of your rights and you understanding your rights. Okay. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you need any medical attention though before mm -hmm. we start? No? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. You know what day of the week it is and stuff? Friday. Today? Friday? Okay. So there are bulletins, so I'm going to read you each bulletin. If you have any questions, feel free to stop me at any point, okay? So, of course, you have the right to remain silent. You do not have to say anything at all. And anything you do say can be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that part? All right. Second bulletin, you have the right to an attorney before you talk to me. And you do have the right to talk to an attorney if you so desire. Do you understand that part? All right. If you cannot pay for an attorney, the judge will appoint one for you free if you desire an attorney. Do you understand? All right. You have the right to have your attorney present when I talk to you. Do you understand that part? <coughs> okay. And lastly, you do not have to talk to me, but if you do, you have the right to stop talking at any time. Okay. So today. to speak with me if you can initial all these bulletins that you understood your rights and print sign and it's going to ask you at the bottom if you so want to talk to me or not okay okay so If you wish to talk to me or not, if you can just initial yes or no. Okay. All right. So I know there's there's a lot, okay, to talk about, and I just want to ask you, you know, why you think you're here, or what led us to us being here. All right. Obviously, I do know information, and the last thing I want to do is, you know, to start up on the wrong foot and for you yeah. to start, you know, lying. Yeah. There's always two sides to the story. Obviously, I'm looking at a evidence standpoint. What we, what we were called out to. There's, I don't know what you're going through. If you're going through anything, we're all humans. You know, before me being a detective, I'm, I'm a father. You know, I'm, I'm. I'm you know, son and stuff like that. We're all human. It doesn't matter what rank we have or how old we are. All right, and that's why, you know, I asked you to come out here and give me your, your side of the story. Okay, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to question you. I'm not here to accuse you. I'm not here to, you know, belittle you. That's not what I do. That's not my job. So my job is to investigate, and that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, so um, if you can, I would kindly ask you just to tell me the truth, and we'll go from there, okay? The detective is doing everything he can to reassure Alexis that everything is all right, even bringing up that he's a father in order to keep her calm. He needs to obtain a confession, so even though he's appearing sympathetic and on her side, it's just a tactic to ensure she's held accountable. So you want to tell me what's going on or what happened today or what led to this? Or, I don't... I mean, I 
tell you, but I need you to ask because then I can't tell you because I don't. Right. <laughs> okay. So, um, obviously, I got confirmation that you you were pregnant. Okay. Right. Right. I, I, I found that out yesterday. You found that out yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about that. What do you, what do you mean? Like. Um. So how is it that you found out or how? Well, I've been having back pain like really bad and I got in an accident September of 2021. 20, okay. Two, two years ago. And um, I just thought that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the pain comes and goes and so I didn't really think anything much of it. Um, and it just kept hurting and so we, my mom took me to the ER and they just said that I had some kind of spray and I don't even know what kind it was mm -hmm. and they just gave me medicine for it and it wasn't helping okay but I still didn't think anything much of it um I gave them my urine sample and see if for infection or anything mm -hmm. I d there was nothing I guess I don't know and then um I just kept hurting and so I went to the clinic and they did a urine sample and they told me I was pregnant and that's when I found out. You said it was yesterday? Yesterday. And where did you go? What clinic? What uh, hospital? The one on Del Paso. Del Paso? Okay. Which one? Lee? Yeah, that one. Okay. The one under construction. All right. Who took you? Myself. My parents were at work. Your parents were at work? Yeah. Okay. So I believe your mom said that she had accompanied you or she took you or she went with you? No, she didn't. Okay. I went by myself. All right. So, as I mentioned to you before anything, I, I, I like to speak, you know, with the truth, <coughs> obviously, okay? I spoke to some people, and I I know that back in March, you know, is when you spoke to some people, and you told them that you were pregnant. So, you had prior knowledge, all right? So, I'm not going to... Back in March? Right, you know. Somebody no, by the name of Walker, do you know anybody, a friend of yours, a school friend of yours Walker. that I spoke with and she's the one that told me that you knew that you were pregnant Walker. No, and that you Walker. did not want the child? Walker. Mm -hmm. Her mom is a nurse at, a, at the hospital. Walker. Mm -hmm. She's I don't a know friend Walker. of yours. You don't know anybody by that name? No. No? Not a Walker. Okay. Well, that's her mom's last name. But I spoke with her and she's the one that told me obviously that you knew had prior knowledge wow. all right like i said if you gotta be straightforward i don't know, I, don't know. Okay. I swear i don't know walker okay so anyway explain to me as far as what happened today how did your day start today the same as any other day well for the past couple of days okay um it i was in pain i just thought i was uh what is it called? I didn't think I'm sorry. Okay, I know there's a um, lot. I, I understand there's a lot going on. Where you can't poop. Okay. Constipation? Yeah. I just thought that's what it was. <laughs> okay, all, so you... Literally all day and I would go to sleep and then go back to the restroom and go to sleep and go back to the restroom. Mm -hmm. Just the same. Okay, so what time did you, your day start? I don't even, I couldn't tell you to be honest. Okay. So you don't know what time you woke up, or do you, are you working, do you go to school? I, I go to school, but I didn't go, I haven't been to school this week. Yeah, And I didn't have work today. Okay. Where are you working on? Martin Boot. Okay. So you haven't been going to school this whole week? No. No? Because you've been sick, or? Yeah. Okay. So you don't know what time you woke up. Obviously, a lot happened, okay? Right. So I just yeah, wanted no, to get I, a time frame no, as far as... I wouldn't as, be able to tell you. Okay. You don't know what time you wake up, but no. you woke up. Yeah, right. At your parents' house where you live? Yes. What's your address? 809 West McKenzie. Okay. Um, you woke up there? You live with your parents? Right. Okay. Um, what did you do when you when you woke up? I went to the restroom. Okay. And I was in pain. I was up all night going... I was asleep, and I go to the restroom, and I just... Mm -hmm all hours of the night, all day, today. Okay. So what happened after you started going to the restroom? I just went back to sleep because I couldn't go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after that, what did she do? What do you mean? 
Yeah, I mean, obviously... It was, it was repetitive, mm -hmm. and then um, my dad came, my dad went to the store and went got me some pills, I don't even know what they were, but um, they were supposed to help me poop, and I took it and I went back to sleep, and I stayed asleep for I don't even know how long. Okay. And then I woke up, and I just kept trying to use the restroom, and I'd go back to sleep, and it was just repetitive, sir. Mm hmm. What happened after that? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. So obviously, I mean, you, you have an idea what happened. I mean, well, obviously. yeah, but like I'm, I'm trying, I can't tell you if you like. I'm not a very good explanation. Okay. So obviously, you gave birth to a child. Right. We're, I'm trying to find out where it happened, how it happened, or what led to that, and stuff like that. Uh, um, I. I went to sleep and then I woke up and I went to the restroom and I was just trying and then um, it, it came out and I thought it was poop and then it, it, it was. It's hard to fathom how Alexis thought this story would sound believable, and it's clear from the officer's tone that he's just as perplexed. Thankfully, he gives zero attention to what she's saying and pushes her to continue. Okay, so you were aware? And you're at your house? Yeah, I was okay. by myself. You were by yourself? Yes. Okay. And then, I mean, that's that's not normal, right? Right. Okay, what happened after that? I, I was in a panic. I didn't know what to do. Okay. I was scared. Okay. What did you do after? I, try, I, I cleaned myself, and I just, it, it just left it where it was, and I was scared, and I was trying to call my mom, but I couldn't because I was so scared. I was I think she's going to hate me. Okay. What made you think that? Just because I just turned 18. I haven't been, been 18 for a month. And I'm the baby. Right. I understand. That's, that's a lot to take, okay? And that's why I'm here getting your side of the story. Um, you were home alone, or who was that? No, I was by myself. You were by yourself? Okay, and this happened where? In the and restroom? Your yeah, restroom? Yeah. You guys have separate restrooms? Yeah. No, it, there's one restroom. There's one restroom. Okay. What did you do after the fact? What do you or what mean? happened? I mean, obviously... Like, I was, I was... I was just cleaning. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Okay. And I just wrapped it in a, in a, in a towel. Okay. Um, did you ever thought of contacting, you know, an ambulance, a fire no, department, go out there and no, check I you out? I didn't do that. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, scared of what exactly? The, the baby had, like it was a nowhere. Right, but you're telling me that you knew yesterday, right? Yeah, but I didn't know it was, I didn't know how, and I didn't know nothing. Mm -hmm. I knew, but I didn't like know where it was coming today. Right. So it was unexpected. Right. You weren't expecting it to happen. No. And then did you contact anybody? No. Okay, you said you didn't contact your mom? No, I tried, but I, was, I couldn't. I was scared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a difference between being scared. I mean, I understand you're young. You don't know, obviously. But if you both you and I know that I mean, pregnancies, you know, they're, they're pretty obvious. Your stomach starts growing. You know, you got se several different symptoms and stuff like that. I didn't know nothing. I, right. I didn't have nothing. I okay. was just... I was gaining weight. I was eating more. I was nothing. Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. So you're in the restroom. You give birth. You wrap it into a towel. What is that? Your towel? What color towel? Uh, I don't even remember, don't remember to be honest. Okay. So what was your next? Act? What What else did you do after that? I I just left and I drove around, and and I just put it to where I put it. Okay. Where are we talking about? Put it where. I mean, obviously, I know where you went, and you didn't put... <laughs> right, like, I had the trash bag in the car. Okay. If you couldn't tell, the car is messy. Mm hmm But I, I, I put it, I did. So... And then I put... I, I put it in, I put it in the bag, I took it to the car, I... When I was in the car, I had put, I had two trash bags. Okay. I took one with me, which is the one that I had, mm -hmm. and then I 
I put it again, and then I would I I drove around and I didn't know what to do, and I just put it in there. Okay. Where did you go? What do you mean? Where did you drive to? J C Penney's. I was in. I lived. That, I was in that area. I was. I live in that area. Mm -hmm. So where did you? Where did you throw the garbage bag? In the trash. In the trash. Okay. Did you lock it up? Did you seal it up? With the, the hair tie. I'm sorry. With the hair tie. The hair tie. But I, I don't even think it stuck because it was broke. Okay. So you're on the verge of breaking. Okay, were you by yourself in the car? Or you I was by myself the whole time. Okay. You never notified anybody? No. Okay. So you grabbed your hair tie and just wrapped it around the yeah. bag? Both bags? Or? No. Just, it, well, I guess, yeah. What color was the bag? Black. The black bag? So you put the hair tie around the black bag? Alright. So... I don't even think it stayed, to be honest. I, it, like I said, it was broke. Mm -hmm. Like it was on the verge of breaking. Right, did you place it there? Did you throw it there? What did you do? I just, what do you mean? Well, I mean, the like trash. Like in the trash, I just, put the, when I tossed it was in. Was it a normal trash can? Like one of those that they pick up, the city picks up, or a bigger trash can, or what? The bigger trash can, what do you mean? Well, what kind of trash can were we talking about? Like There's different the, the bigger ones, I guess. Okay, what color was the trash can? Green. Weren't they all green? So you just went and placed it inside or outside? or Inside. Alrighty. Um, so, obviously, you're 18 years of age, you know right yeah. from wrong, right? Right. Okay. So, you wrap around a newborn inside a trash in bag. I'm panic. I, I'm j right. I just turned 18. Right, right. It's not like I've been 18 forever. Exactly. But you know, I mean, if somebody were to wrap you inside a trash can and put a tie on it, and you're not able to move... Well, the tie was broke. Like, right. I, could, I would be able to stick my hand in there. What do you think would have happened? What do you mean? So what do you think would have happened? You never notified law enforcement. You never called for EMS. You I never... didn't. And by this, I'm still in... Mm -hmm. what, what exactly, what do you think was going to happen? I don't know. You don't know what would have happened? Well, I mean, obviously I know, but... Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm in a panic. I, I don't... I. There's a baby in front of me. I just... Okay. You never notified your mom? Never. No, you never notified anybody? Nobody. Okay, so... It's not, you know, it's not... Normal behavior from any reasonable person to do what you did. If I'm... What do you mean? It's not... In a panic when I just turned 18? Right. It still isn't, though. We're talking about a baby. Well, I know, I know what you mean, but like... I'm, I get what you mean. I know. Okay. Let me take a small break, okay? I'll be right back. Can my mom come in here when you're gone? Um, well, you're 18, you're of age, okay? So, I know. unless you were a juvenile, then that would change things. But give me just a minute, I'll be right back. So not even while you're out of the room? Let me see what I can do, okay? Back to where we left off. Um, I appreciate you, you know, being telling me what happened and stuff. What did you do after the fact? I know what time, more or less, was it? Do you remember? Do you recall? Mm -hmm. Like two fifteen, maybe somewhere around that time. Okay, that's when you dropped off the baby. Somewhere, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. What did you do after the fact? I drove around. Continued to drive around. Continue to drive around to do what? I don't know, just to clear my, to, to figure out what to do. Okay. What else? I mean, where'd you go? Where'd you end up going? Where did you do? I ended up going to my house. You ended up going to your house? What did you do after? When I went to my yeah. house, I just sat on my bed and I was trying to figure out okay. what, what I was supposed to do or what, I, what, what to do. At any point, did you make anybody aware of it? No, I was still in shock. Okay, nobody found out, nobody knew about it? Okay. Were your parents back home at the time? You were home alone? Okay. Did you seek any medical attention or no? Did you think about, you know, what could have happened or what, you know, 
could end up happening to the baby? Yeah. Okay. My mom said it was in love, but is it okay? Okay. Um, <clears throat> they'll be briefing me here as we go, so last I heard the baby's okay. Okay. So, did you ever, did it ever cross your mind to let anybody know, contact law enforcement, you know, go back? I don't know. Okay. I was still, I'm still in shock the whole time when my parents got home. They, they did, just didn't tell them I was still in shock. I was just mm -hmm. in my room. You're in your room? Okay. You, did you ever leave the home afterwards? Did you go anywhere? No. Did you talk to your parents when they got home? Yeah, eventually, but I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. So your parents had no knowledge? No knowledge, absolutely not. And what if I were to tell you that they did have knowledge? What they, do you mean? they told me they didn't know about it. What, what would you say then? How? Because I didn't even know. Okay. You didn't know, but yesterday you found out. I mean, what do you mean? Because I feel like we're talking about two different things, and it's not going well. She is right. Things are definitely not going well, for her at least. Though for the detective, he's getting exactly what he needs. We're talking about a, a baby that was thrown in the trash like yes. garbage, right? And it's a human being. That's well, what we're talking about. When I, my knowledge is when they found out was when the officer showed up at my house. Okay, so I'm talking about the knowledge of you being pregnant, obviously. Oh. Because I know mm -hmm. that you knew back when you found out you were pregnant. And I it, And it wasn't yesterday. It's, That's it's what I know. To God it okay, was. I, I don't, like I said, I don't... I don't go that route, but I know, and I do my investigation prior to even talking to you and, you know, I'm coming sure. out here and interviewing you, okay? Yeah. As I told you, I don't, I don't, I'm not here to judge you. Right. There's two sides to the story, yeah. but if you can come and tell me that you found out you were pregnant yesterday, and I know that's a lie. Why? Well, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Then cha it changes things, because I don't, I don't appreciate that. Right. I found out I was pregnant yesterday. Okay. Because I heard it. The doctor showed me. I knew back in whenever, but I didn't know. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, it's whatever. So you knew back whenever, when is this? What are we talking about? Back in... August? Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit before that. All right. So yesterday, whenever you went to the doctor, how far along did they tell you you were? They didn't say. They didn't tell you? No. Okay. So... That's how I didn't know it was coming today. Mm -hmm. All right. So obviously I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. Right. But I, I know women have menstrual periods. So how can you not know? I had my menstrual period every month. Okay. So that never changed? Never. So, but you knew back in August. I, well, I took two. One was positive, one was negative. I took the negative. I didn't. Okay. What about, you know, as far as you beginning weight, any movement, any, anything like that? No, sir. Okay. So, um, back in June, you had an incident, I guess you ran away from home? Were you having... I, I guess you could say ran away. Okay, was it uh, the result of this? And no, you were you having no. problems with... It was a completely different matter. Okay. So is this the father of your baby, the person you were, ha or you were having issues with? Or you were sending mm -hmm. messages to your mom, suicidal messages, saying that you were going to be with God, and cops were called out to your address oh. in June. Does it, you know, does this have to do, to me, it obviously... It, it has nothing to do with him, absolutely okay. nothing. And this is not the person that is I, responsible no, for your baby, or... I, no I know this is a lot of questions I'm asking, right. I'm just trying to figure out, like no, I said, yes, I'm not curious. Yes, sir. Okay, so it's not a result of this. He had nothing to do, like, it was... Right. So it's, it's not him. Is there somebody we need to talk to? I mean, did he do something to you? No, no, no. That would cause, no. that would lead to this? No, no, did no. he... Did he know? No. Okay, but you do know who is the father of the baby. Yes. Okay, but no. he didn't. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind sharing his name? Stephen Astorga. Okay. Stephen Astorga. Yes, sir. 
How do you spell the last name? A-S-T-O-R-G-A. Okay. Do you happen to know his date of birth by chance? I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Do you, know, do you know more or less how old he is? He's 16. 17. Okay. One of those. 16 or 17? Yes. You all dated for how long? Uh, about a year and a half. Okay. So I'm assuming you met in school? Yes. Do you mind me asking what happened or what? Did y'all break up? We we broke up. We just wasn't working out. Know. Okay. When did y'all break up? When? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't even remember. You don't remember? More or less? A year ago? About August, I think. Around August? Yeah. Sometime when, like, the beginning of school. Okay. So you said things weren't working out? Yeah. So obviously if you know enough for you to tell me that he's obviously the father of your child, you should have known when you got pregnant, right? <laughs> Honestly, not really. Not really. But you, you're able to tell me who it is, so... You know, well, he was the only one I've ever been with. A reasonable person would say that you knew when you got pregnant. Not, with all due respect, not necessarily. Because, no. I mean... Okay. So, I'm just, you know, yeah, I know you give me information, obviously, but he didn't right. do anything as far as to lead you to do this, did he? Nothing? Okay. Did you just think, um, you were be better off without a child because you're too young? No, I... I wait, mean, wait. Sorry, go backtrack. What do you mean? Um, what's... I'm trying to reason like as far as my, what... Like, what is, what is in my head? Or, like, what... what I'm trying to reason your actions. That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh. Yeah, a reason behind your actions. I, I, I knew I was too young, but I knew I would be able to do... Like, I'm about to graduate school. Mm -hmm. School's not my worry. I have a stable job. I'm... Money's not... <coughs> A worry for me okay. um, so I would be able to I, I, I if the baby's okay I want it okay and what if I told you the baby was dead what would change then <laughs> nothing all right what's so good for where we can reach you at um, Five seven five. Mm -hmm. Can I? Would I be able to give you my mom's number, or do I have to give you mine since I'm over the age? Um, your phone number. Yeah, your stuff. Three one eight seventy seven fifty seven. All right. And again, I'm gonna ask you: Do you need any medical? I know you. I mean, you gave birth. Obviously, it's right. not something normal. It's not something I mean, you do every day. Do you need us to call an ambulance out here? I mean, my, my word is your well-being. Yeah, no, I know it's, um, I don't feel the need, but I, I... I mean, you're 18 years of age. Right. If um, anything, you can, you can at least get checked out, and it's up to you. Would my mom be able to take me? Um, yeah, that's completely up to you. Then I mean, I'm I, just asking I, you right now if you need an, uh, somebody to come check you out. Well, I prefer not here. Okay. But, so maybe my mom could take me somewhere. Okay. Perfect. Um, let me just take one last break and I'll be right back, okay? And my mom still can't come in here? Um, like I said, you... Wait, you're not, not, you're not in here. All right, I understand. Let me go, let me go talk to you. We're good. To, um, your mom's in number two. I don't know if you want to go in there. My officers will come get you here in a few, okay? Right, Alexis would be charged and dealt an 18-year sentence. Though the officer in the footage mentions the baby having died, this was not the case. 
She would file an appeal while in prison, which ended up being successful, resulting in her getting released. As much as I hope she's learned a lesson from all this, the fact that it even happened in the first place demonstrates a complete lack of empathy. Most of all, I hope that her baby, which ended up being named Sean, can live a life free from any more harm. Thanks for joining me for another video. If you made it till the end, thank you. Feel free to leave a comment. I try to reply to as many as I can. Take care, and I'll see you next week.